Alright. Well, I just start off by taking whatever questions you don't have. Mayor, on the, uh, the recycling item, yes. uh, you were discussing bringing forward a plan that would mostly offset the, the estimated cost yes. of the new contract. What are you, what are you envision doing? To I, I'm looking at all options. I certainly want to uh, talk with uh, the city council members about possible options. I think there's a strong commitment in the city to recycle. I don't think this is the, the, I don't think we just need to, uh, to stop recycling. In fact, there are many people in those numbers that want to, to expand it. Um, so the question is, can we continue to do it in a cost efficient manner? I'm also going to take the time to go back and, and um, revisit with the, with the vendor, uh, the waste management on this. I just want to make sure that we explore all possible options. Um, and then if there are ways that we can engage in, um, 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 how can I gonna put this, um, make it cost neutral in some fashion, you know, take a look at, no, a look at doing, doing that, maybe some offsets of some kind. So I, I just want to look at all potential uh, options that may be available to for us. I mean, are you envisioning that as cost neutral within the contract, within the department, or offsetting it somewhere else? Is it may be some, it may be some, be some offset someplace else. Uh, I'll take a look at the contract itself. Um, I'm going to visit back with waste management to see um, if we can possibly work something out there. They've been, they've been next and uh, partnering with the city of Houston. I think there's a commitment to recycling. Uh, and then there may be some other sort of measures that we can take someplace else that may offset uh, the additional costs here. I think what I indicated earlier in 2016, what the cost of the commodity prices uh, being affected by the low oil, oil prices, in 2016 it could cost us about $800,000. In 2017 it could, could cost as much as three. Um, so we're trying to find ways that we can maybe neutralize the, the additional cost and continue to recycle. May you consider a garbage fee, because we don't have one? You know, you'll have to talk to maybe somebody else that ran for office who's suggesting that, but he's not mayor. <laughs> Would you? I mean, yeah. but is that, I mean, is that a possibility even? No, there is, I have never con contemplated a garbage fee when it has come up. I've, I've said to, to uh, members of my own staff, I am not going to advocate a garbage fee, and I'm not going to support a garbage fee. So absolutely not, no. When you talk about visiting with waste management, do, do you have time to, to do that when the contract expires pretty soon? Yeah, I don't think that's going to be anything from picking up the phone or uh, asking ask somebody to come and visit with me. I just wanted to make sure that we're exploring all, all, all options. I think, you know, I think, you, I think you, you, know, you heard the sentiment around the table. Uh, and I know for, I know myself and been out on the trail quite a bit uh, that there are a lot of Houstonians that are committed to recycling. I know if we end it, let's just say we end it, we don't do it, then those items are going to the landfill. And that's going to take up capacity. And that's really, it's not in the, in the, in the, in the best interest of, of the city of Houston in the long term. And so you don't necessarily want to stop it and then try to restart it. I do understand the fiscal implications and, and uh, the challenges that we're currently facing. So I just want to make sure that we explore all possible options to uh, offset the cost uh, and, then move, and then move forward. I know you were saying you, you want to talk to council about it first, right. but can you give any sort of broad indication of some of the options you're thinking of and pick, pick it up less often? I, I, I indicated to them, Mike, that I wanted to visit with them first, and out of deference to them, I, I do want to take the time to visit with them. Mayor, there was no mention of one of the one bin um, program. Is that no. still something that's being considered, or is that off the table? It's not anything point? that I'm considering at this time, no. I've had no conversation with it, not looked at it, and don't have any, any immediate plans to look at it either. Because um, some say, you know, new technology could help with, you know, offset the, the low commodity price for recycling by maybe in, in a new facility, um, already produce new products, and then circumvent the whole commodity price, you know, crisis. So yeah. is that what this there, there are a lot of questions uh, surrounding the one bin proposal. I certainly have looked at and read the, uh, the paper that's been presented uh, from um, what was done. I'm not convinced um, that uh, that is something I want to move forward with right now. If, if at any time 
but it's, it's, it's not a part of this conversation. Mayor, <laughs> since you talked last week about possible layoffs and you didn't really take firefighters uh, off the table, have you had any discussions with the union or the pension board or any firefighters in general about that? Uh, yes. I mean, I've had conversations with all of the groups um, on several occasions. We are continuing to have conversations, uh, and they've been they've been positive. Um, I think people, I think everyone recognizes uh, that uh, you know I don't want to lay off anybody. You know, um, I don't want to lay off a firefighter. I don't want to lay off a, a municipal worker. Um, and I think that's I, I think that I made that very clear. But it's going to require everybody engaging in shared sacrifice. I want everybody at the table. I want everybody participating uh, in the conversation. I want everybody to participate in having to uh, create not just balancing the budget in 2017, but helping and putting together a systematic plan to deal with the short term and the long term finances and the financial challenges of the city. But you're still not ready to take firefighters off the table? I, I, I said uh, last week I wanted to maintain all options as we handle the financial challenges. Uh, I don't want to lay off any. I respect uh, the firefighters and what they do. I recognize that they're sacrificing uh, their lives every time they go out on a call. I recognize that. Um, I've been supportive of firefighters for my entire time in public service going back for 26 years. I don't want to lay off anyone, uh, but I'm simply asking if people will continue to work with me as they have and as others have, then I think we can minimize uh, layoffs uh, for employees for the city of Houston. So just one more question on the topic. It seems like, and I don't, I don't know where it came from, but apparently there's some rumors going around that because you said that, uh, perhaps is one, one reason why we've had several multi-alarm fires perhaps are put for an extra alarm. Have you heard that rumor? And if you have, what's your reaction to that? I, I, I haven't heard, I haven't heard that. I think, I think the firefighters know um, that I value what they do. I value the support that they've given to me. Okay, and I recognize uh, that they are on the front line. So I recognize that. And I would like to think that every employee in the city of Houston fully understands uh, that I am not, uh, um, insensitive to the fact that they have families and they provide a vital service to the people in the city of Houston. This city would not be as great as it is and can be without our city employees. But we, all, but we are facing some tough financial challenges. It's going to require some tough decisions. I think I'm put in the position of having to make those tough calls. Uh, the balance of the books will balance by the end of June. Uh, but we'll can, but, but if, if people continue to work with me as we move forward, then I think we can minimize the impact on any, on any group or any. Um, so you don't think there's some sort of mischief going on in this? I, I, no, I, I, I respect people too, too much. I think people are concerned about their jobs, and I, might, I, and I understand that. I'm very sensitive to that. But we are having, I am having at least three conversations a week with my financial team and looking at the budget every single day. And any time there's some uh, variable that's taking place, we, you know, we're going through the modifications and looking at a lot of different <coughs> it's a, it's a work in, it's a, it's a work in progress. And different departments are submitting to me different budgets. And uh, whether it's 5%, 7%, I may take a little here, a little from there. Uh, but you know, this is what I've been doing um, for the last 21 plus years, dealing with budgets is a work in progress. Uh, but it's going to require shared sacrifice, and, and I cannot say that enough. As long as people are, are coming to the table, not just employee groups, but TERS, I've had conversations with the TERS, with the leadership of, of several of the TERS as well, and, and talked about shared sacrifice and their willingness to participate in getting us to, uh, to a, a balanced budget uh, situation. So there are many, many conversations that are taking place. Uh, and as long as people continue to, to come to the table and have and engaging in a positive way, then I think we can minimize the losses to people as a whole. What about the airport? What's going on over there with the, you've seen some of the press coverage about Mr. Diaz. Are you, are you concerned about his uh, actions prior to you becoming mayor and do you think that affects his future employment? No, um, we're moving forward. Um, you know, I, I rebooted the contract that was uh, that was before us when I came in place. So we are starting from, from ground zero, and we are doing that. 
I've always said that I want to make sure that we're operating with the, with the greatest degree of integrity, and I, I continue to hold to that. And so uh, we have restarted that, that process, uh, and we'll see what the end result will, will be. Is he going to keep his job? Uh, he certainly has his job. Mary, can you add any detail on yes. the, the Don restructuring that you talked about? Yeah, I, I, you know, when I came, I heard from a number of uh, city council members and from community people that uh, that Don was not working uh, with maximum, and, you know, with the greatest degree of efficiency, uh, just like I heard about the potholes. Um, and then just like <coughs> yesterday, we had people who came and indicated one moment, talking about the number of seven cars, I think, sitting in, a, in, in the neighbor's front yard. Uh, for a long period of time. You know, that's unacceptable. Uh, so essentially, um, what I have done is that I have pulled together uh, the Department of Neighborhoods, uh, HIT, you know, the H uh, yeah, Technology Department, um, Citizen Assistance, Public Works, the city, the city's legal department. And just like we did with the Pilot Initiative, we are, you know, I am redesigning um, the 